Good afternoon, everyone. A very warm welcome to you all on behalf of IMS to the first virtual IMS meet. And uh, I would like to request you all, if anyone has not put his video on, to put his video on so that we can see each one of us. So today's program, we have firstly our director will say a few words. Then we would like to hear from you all uh, what your story has been, your journey from IMS. And after that, we will have our Deputy Director, Mr. Tambekar, to say a vote of thanks. And after that, we want to keep it open house so that we can chat freely. I would also like, I would also request you all to just type in your chat the place where you are staying right now, uh, your phone number, which is preferably WhatsApp number, and your email ID. Okay. Uh, thank you. I will hand over to, to our Director, Mr. Deepak Shah. Yeah, thank you, Esther. Welcome, Suraj. Just joined in. So, it's uh, it's been uh, a long time that you have left IMS. Now it's past, I think, 23 years or 24 years now. Uh, we've been uh, in the last couple of years we've been trying to improve on our alumni get-togethers. But by the time we really realized in uh, 2020, in April, we would plan in May to get together. So the virus set in. So we are trying to make it a virtual thing. And uh, I think it's the first occasion that we will work out with the first batch of GME, 97, 98. And the idea is to connect up with uh, everybody who is there in our ex-students. Together with that, try to work out how you and we can you know, interact with each other. The building up a database of our students who are there. Uh, you know, there are issues related to placements for certain diploma boys. So we were looking various companies where some of our ex which could put a word for that. Next was uh, periodically we would try to interact with you so that uh, when you are visiting Goa, we will surely want you to visit IMS, interact with the students uh, as the scenario becomes better. And uh, we are now re reconstructing our website and we uh, are interested to put the testimonials of everybody possible on the site, which could be accessed by the people who are uh, young people, young students or parents who would like to look at marine engineering as a career so i would prefer that uh, this would be the option you could have time when you are at home just take a small video of yourself with proper lighting just spend two three four minutes of your story which is there in i means how you have managed your story and that will help us to put it on our website and maybe we are in the process of even making a video for the first time for our ims Maybe it's a seven-eight minute video, which could be again used for marketing the college. Uh, thank you for joining first only, and I would request uh, one by one would uh, just start off with a small brief about yours from IMS, how your story went. And we are recording this uh, program so that we could refer to it at the later stage. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's start with Kapil. Would you like to continue? You start your story. So, uh, yeah, basically, I think we were the first batch at IMS. Uh, I could see Tanuj, uh, Suraj, Nitin, so all I could remember. So, actually, in fact, it was before IMS. Uh, so, I always wanted to be a marine engineer, join Merchant Navy. So, I moved to Goa, a, I think, a year ago, a year before I joined IMS. So, I was, uh, I did my training in Western India shipyard. I worked for a brief time as a trainee in, uh, in a transship called Swati Rani. There I met uh, Mr. Mathur. Uh, actually, so that, that was quite helpful. He trained me a lot. And then eventually uh, IMS started. Uh, so I joined there. I finished my training. I think it was the wonderful year of my life. I spent there a year uh, with all my good colleagues. Uh, there on I got placement. Uh, I joined Shipping Corporation of India. Um, as a fifth engineer so and thereafter I <clears throat> I worked for seven years uh, in in shipping actually so I worked for different companies so 
sort of every contract was a different company i work with shipping corporation of india then anglo eastern imc shipping bergeson uh uh there was another company i forgot the name uh then the, my last ship was actually norwegian cruise line so i worked for a cruise line uh then i quit i i was looking for show jobs and then actually i decided to move to uk so uh after like 7 years of sea service uh, i came to uk to do my masters uh in manufacturing engineering so i just thought maybe i'll i'll do that get some experience and move back to india but while i was doing my course a masters so i got an opportunity to work for lloyd's register it's a classification society in london so i started working for them as a part time and then i finished my post graduation i joined them full time i was working in their office in the product approval department so i think my experience in goa was quite valuable actually what i learned over there that carried with me throughout my career uh, so i worked for lloyd's register for a couple of years then i moved to american bureau of shipping abs that was in london itself so i worked for them for few years then i moved switched to oil and gas uh, i worked with dnv that was dnv gl for few years uh so that was all in london and uh yeah so between marine and then i switched to oil and gas and that's when the the oil and gas industry started going down due to the oil prices uh i started looking for new opportunities so that was the time i moved to actually the rail industry so i'm no longer in marine so basically there was a, a project in london it's cross rail project uh so i joined that uh so yeah so i moved to sort of infrastructure and rail industry and i did a brief period and then i moved currently i'm working with tfl it's a transport for london so basically they they cover all the transportation within london all the london underground all the lot buses and everything so basically all the transportation within london is under that company so yeah i am with them for us 3 years now so that's pretty much it Uh, what about you been there from uh, after you left uh, sailing you are in uk only yes so <clears throat> i moved i left sailing uh, i think my last ship was in 2005 and then yeah then i moved to london in 2006 and since then i'm here so for last 15 years now you manage this like you know what part of the job is yours you know you are involved with right now right now so basically uh, i'm a, i'm working as a freelance i'm working as a, a consultant with nfl uh, transport for london so i'm working as a sort of mechanical engineer and uh, it's to do with their infrastructure projects so uh, for example the station uh, if uh, there is a new project going on hs2 rail actually they are connecting birmingham to london so the tfl has got their existing station so as a part of their infra- infrastructure as a mechanical engineer so basically it's called is to do with the hvac uh, heating cooling system ventilation and uh, yeah uh, that sort of stuff so it's mainly it's it's like a building services engineer is a infrastructure engineer but i think still the, the experience as a marine engineer is always useful that hands on experience i think there is no substitute for it so i i dealt with a project recently uh, that was a uh, replacement of a hvac system for one of their control center and that was quite hands on actually that's where i remembered actually when i was working on board a ship and then so i think that foundation uh especially uh in goa when i did the training i think probably i met uh you know when i work on ships so i met uh, other people like other fifth engineers and who were, who did training from different you know, institutes but i think uh at that time when i did i i i always thought there is no parallel to ims because the exposure which we get actually the the breadth of training when western india ship yard goa ship yard we get to work on trans shippers so i think that that experience is quite useful that's that's actually that could be a very good foundation for anyone looking for any career in in engineering not just marine but i think overall okay thank you thank you kapil let's uh, talk to suraj suraj uh, we had a chance to meet him in goa a couple of years ago 
uh, because he had come to Goa on the I think we are celebrating 20th 20th years of IMS. Okay. Uh, so good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, I'm Suraj Prabhakar. I'm from Bangalore, from the first batch of IMS, and uh, Kapil, Nitin, all of them my batchmates. So yeah, like Kapil said, uh, the first year of uh, IMS was uh, pretty chaotic in terms of the infrastructure of IMS itself because we shared most of our uh, infrastructure with ISBT and we didn't have any independent uh, charge there. But uh, as a group, we were quite cohesive and because we lacked in uh, the rest of the infrastructure and support of IMS uh, infrastructure, we were actually pretty tight as a group. So I joined uh, in the first batch and my joining in the IMS was a sort of a chance affair. The first batch had already been 20 of 25 cadets uh, had already been uh, recruited and then three of them decided not to join. So that is when I got a call from one of my uh, engineering batchmates who was also in IMS who had taken an admission in IMS and he said uh, three seats have just opened up. Uh, would you be interested in joining? At that point of time, I was working for a subsidiary of Reliance in Gujarat. So I was in Gujarat. I rushed down back to my uh, native place, uh, that is Bangalore. And then I flew uh, sort of bus down to Goa, attended my interview, attended my Viva voice. Uh, Sri Tambekar uh, Senior, he was the director then, he was the first director of IMS. So he personally actually took my interview and uh, Viva. And I had especially requested him that uh, uh, you need to uh, let me know my results uh, as soon as possible because I have just taken a leave from my existing job and if I don't get back there within two days, I'll lose that too. So he was kind enough to evaluate uh, the candidates amongst the various candidates and I was offered a seat. So I had to join within uh, five, six days. That means the entire process of my admission had to be completed in five, six days. So I again rushed back to Bangalore, came back uh, with all the other uh, formalities to start my course because the course had already started by the time I joined. I was already a week, 10 days late into the course. So, so as I say, my joining the IMS was a chance, um, say 25 in one kind of chance. And uh, I'm glad I made it there. I passed out with the first batch. Uh, we were a pretty good batch. And uh, apart from the technical stuff that we learned at IMS, which was overwhelming at that point of time. But now when I look back, I realize that uh, what we learned there and what we did during that one year was immense. I mean, that experience is taking us forward uh, even right now as we speak. Uh, not only the technical knowledge, but uh, the knowledge of getting to live independently and live away from family and uh, uh, bonding with the various batchmates. We didn't have a hostel back then, so we were all four or five of us, up, five of us uh, shacked up with each other in various parts of the cities in different flats. So it was a it was a great adjustment time, and we did it well. So that side of sort of gives you a confidence that you can survive anywhere in the world with if you have the right group and company. So anyway, like Kapil said, uh, the entire batch, I think, barring a couple of uh, candidates, were uh, recruited by. Uh, our shipping corporation of India. We had a campus recruitment uh, that year where three or four companies showed up and all of us were taken as a batch into shipping corporation of India where I served uh, right until I was uh, uh, fourth engineer. That is about three, four contracts. And then I moved to uh, fleet management as third engineer wherein uh, I did one ship as third and then I did a couple of ships as second engineer. And thereafter, after fleet, I moved to Mitsui OSK Lines, with whom I was there for about 13 years. And uh, just about uh, three years back, on my previous contract, I shifted to Dynacom Tankers. And uh, well, I have done one contract with Dynacom and presently still sailing, though I have been on a break, a uh, long break this time, uh, for some personal family reasons. Uh, so I'm sailing, for, uh, sailing as Chief Engineer for the past, since 2009. Uh, I mean, I qualified in 2009, but I had done about eight, nine contracts as chief engineer. So presently, I'm sailing with the uh, last sail was with Dynacom Tankers as chief engineer. I'm still sailing. I am on the lookout for uh, jobs on shore and looking forward to it if it happens. If it doesn't, then well, I get back. But uh, what I can say is, uh, like Kapil said, I made a lot of candidates from Mary, uh, the various training institutes all over India. 
but the kind of hands on that we guys got at IMS was uh, far beyond what any of them had been experienced to do or uh, they had gone through most of them were technically and bookishly very good but when it came to hands on uh, on the job dirtying the hands and those kind of things uh, i think the ims candidates not only our batch i met a couple of uh, uh, batches of ims you know thereafter uh, uh, in sci and in the other companies as well who had passed out much later than all of us so i found generally those engineers who had come out from ims as marine engineers had a lot more to offer than the rest of the boys from the other institutes in terms of actually uh, knowing things and having seen things and being and uh, most importantly willing to put their hands into dirty oil kind of thing so i guess that has stood us all in good stead whether in marine or we have shifted uh, to elsewhere i see a lot of uh, our batchmates with whom we are still in touch have done pretty well for themselves uh, even out of marine and uh, out of the ships most uh, quite a lot of them are handling ships now and running their own uh, enterprises some are working for others and uh, pretty much everybody is doing well in life so yes it's a great jumping board to be in uh, that is ims and i congratulate i was there uh, a couple of years back when ims celebrated the 20th uh, anniversary and it was uh, for um, uh, an engineers day on that day so we had uh, six or seven of us had gathered and i was fortunate enough to be there then I hadn't visited uh, IMS ever since I left for various reasons I couldn't uh, make it and I tried to do make there so I pretty much hope to get back there in time soon and visit my old friends again and uh, I thank IMS for whatever I am today so that's it from me thank you mm, very nicely spoken suraj in fact uh, when we met last time and you had a good party even in goa after <laughs> yeah Yeah, yeah. I think after uh, this. Yes. Thank you, Suraj. We can talk now. Talk me. Can you talk about yourself? Hi, I'm Rabni. I'm from Pakistan. I'm from Mumbai. I can see. I can see some of my batchmates here. So good to see you after a long time. After more than 20 years, I'm seeing you again. Except for okay, Nitin also I met. I'm meeting after a long time. I'm seeing him again. Yeah. 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 So after passing out from IMS. I was with Nirin on the same ship for some months. Then he signed us. I remember that. And uh, so I continued on. I was with SCI till I began second year. Then I worked with various companies, I'm sailing SCI finance since January 2008. So now I'm not sailing much. I'm just uh, maybe doing one contract in a year. And sometimes, like last time, I was here for I don't know, almost nine months. For a month. Before that, also for because of various other reasons, I was at home for long periods of time. So I am not. I am not saying much nowadays. And uh, IMS was uh, like a godsend. You know, I just remember I just finished my graduation. And normally, people who would like to go out to see, they have to go somewhere else outside Goa usually. But so I am very grateful. Thank God that IMS came into existence here, and I didn't have to move anywhere. in my training and uh, even though the infrastructure was not that good i greatly appreciate the training in particular i mean it was quite good training comparable to anywhere in the world it was very good training and some good hands on experience and other training was also good but what i remember what was taught was very very useful and when you can when lesson it came in very handy so, Like Puri said, I also encountered some people who sailed with later IMS students. They told me they were very good. They found me very good compared to other institutes. They were probably they were good in theory and maybe they were equally good as us. But when it came to actual getting actual work done, it was the IMS alumni which stood out, and that speaks uh, volumes about the people who trained us. They were quite dedicated also. They were like it was like moving through uncharted waters initially. Like you we were just going by. Everything was not fully available, but with the resources available, we got the best. I'm grateful for that. And uh, I've never looked for a job. So 
I was offered for the many times. Mainly because I'm not uh, very keen on going to work in the mornings and then coming back in the evening. I prefer working on the ship and then having my leave to myself. I can explore my my hobbies or whatever. So I, I I would continue sailing. I'm not very keen on taking a cruise ship right now. No, I don't think I'll ever take one. So, but uh, as you all know, it's becoming more and more hard day by day. With all the legislation and all coming, it's becoming more and more stressful. So maybe I will quit and try my hand to some something later. You never know. Let's see how things go. That's it. That's it for me. Yeah, thanks. Probably, probably we have always been in touch, uh, whether it's on board the ship or is being ashore. So we share a lot of uh, our own experiences, and uh, I think I, I think you need to visit IMS. That is one thing this time. And now we are uh, we got Sarvesh with us. So Sarvesh, before you lose connection with him, you can put the mic on and you can just share your experience after IMS. Hello, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry for joining a bit late, but uh, you know I had some uh, business calls to do, so uh, sorry for that. But yeah, uh, sorry, I'm I'm in a car right now, and the audio may not be very good. The signal also, I think, Vodafone is living up to its reputation of uh, bad signal. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, I'm uh, I'm audible to all of you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, my experience with um, IMS, you know, it's been a beautiful journey for me. And uh, I think all of you all know that I'm I'm into ship management right now, and I'm already recruiting uh, people from uh, students from IMS. And uh, as I always say to uh, the boxer, that you know they are a good, uh, well sorted out. Uh, students who understand the basics very nicely uh, due to the rigorous training which uh, IMS has given to them. So yeah, it's it's it's. it's uh, I would suddenly say, that, uh, being from the first batch, uh, we were not that that professional. Uh, you know, I would not say trained, but we were not professional <laughs> to absorb absorb what was given to us. So what I see, the students are uh, quite knowledgeable. And uh, uh, even in the practical, they uh, expect they are also quite good. So yeah, so I'm I am uh, trying to recruit more and more IMS boys. And uh, with Mr. Deepak Shah at the helm, and Mr. Tamrekar, and the excellent facility faculty which is there, I think uh, IMS uh, they should be able to take IMS to the next level. Yeah, uh, I'll keep it short, uh, sir, because you know I have to. <laughs> Service vessel. Or just wanted to say hello to all of you. Okay. Uh, next, nice service. Uh, in fact, just to tell you that service was the guest of honor of our passing out function at now, and he has recruited four boys every year, nearly four in his team. That is the GME, DME, and uh, uh, the boy who passed out this year was a topper, and he got the maximum awards, and he is placed with Marine Tech. So we are proud about that. Uh, like one of our students only is, uh, you know, recruiting from our college itself. So we we are very happy about it. Thank you, Sarvesh. Okay, hello, yeah, gentlemen. Uh, kindly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kindly excuse me because you know I have to rush here uh, just for the survey completed. I have to sail out my vessel. Okay, but yeah, thank you for giving me an opportunity to connect with all of you all. Okay, we'll catch up sometime. Okay. Bye. 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 Yeah, yeah. Take care. Bye. Once again, very good afternoon to everyone. Hi, Nitin. Hi. Uh, it was really nice to see everyone. This is the first time uh, I'm meeting everyone. I'm, all these years, I've been only once to IMS after passing out. It's basically that after completing my ISM, uh, sorry, IMS, I've been doing continuous sailing. I've I've gone up the ranks, uh, became a chief engineer in main plate. Then I changed over to offshore. And then in 2011, I started sailing on DP vessels, landing position vessels, in Angola and in Qatar. And it was it's almost two years now. I have quitted sailing. Uh, two years down in Goa, I have been 
working with this casino for just to settle down myself in goa it, it basically what has happened is since my i have only one dot single daughter and she is a state level gymnastic player so i tend to spend more time with her so that's one of the reason i decided to quit selling and be down in goa so presently with one another batchmate of mine we both are setting up a unit uh, and we'll be letting you know the good news very soon and i would like to say that being with ims it has helped us a lot to develop myself it is not only like uh, i have gained a hands on experience and it has developed that eagerness to keep on doing things and rather than being idle and i really appreciate and thank ims to mold me in this passion which i am now which i am ready to take more and more tasks every day thank you very nice nitin uh, hope the best for you for the industry which you are setting up hope it is a shipyard where we can send our boys for training so not shipyard no Uh, no sir, it is off, it is off of the marine. It is not a marine base. It is totally uh, different field. Okay, okay. Chalo, good. People are diversifying into other things. Uh, anybody from our faculty would like to tell anything or say anything about any of them? Anand sir, you were there that time. No sir, I was there in marine electrical. Maybe they must have come just one day or a half day to marine electrical agency for electrical workshop. So probably they may not remember me. I was I had not joined IMS at that time. Okay. Nice to see all of them, but so I had a wonderful year with my batchmates. In the legends, first, legends I, always have stories, uh, Tanoj. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no way, yeah. I'm not legend. So, guys, um, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my batchmates. So nice to connect with you all. So nice to see you all. Hi, Tanoj. Okay, then WhatsApp, yeah. Hi, and good afternoon, all the staff over here. <clears throat> I'm first time doing this thing with your uh, Google Meet with my own staff also. Yeah, so anyway, now IMS is my staff. Okay, it's just so nice. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, that time Bhakti Madam and Naresh Sir were there. So these two people were there, and Bhakti Madam still looks the same when we had joined. Like so, <laughs> so nobody get confused if they see her this time. But yeah, she was there for the later part of it. And uh, ha, Hemant, Hemant is there. Even you don't need a mask in the car, yeah. Hi. Yeah, this corona will not go across uh, this. Uh, what do you say, Google Meet? <laughs> this is uh, anti-virus in between, like. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Emmons. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Emmons. Hello. So guys, I was so happy to pass from IMS. Sad and happy both because I had a great time over here. and i had some great friends over here one is there kapil gupta from uk over here across hi kapil <coughs> so and there is one more akhil i don't know he's not joined he's in hong kong um so guys i was uh, we had a very small passing function because we were 25 boys and all of them were taken by sk as yes, all shared and i sailed with sk for 7 years uh I signed off from SCI with, with the rank of second engineer, second engineer. and immediately and I went immediately for class exam. exam. And uh, on 2006 January, I cleared my class one. Mathu sir was the director that time, and he gave me an award, appreciation that I was, as per him, his information. I was the first cadet from IMS to clear as class one, and then. uh i joined uh, immediately uh, kawasaki lines and i sailed up to 2010 kawasaki lines uh in 2011 i joined the tokyo office of kawasaki uh, as a technical superintendent i worked in japan up to 2013 so i joined immediately after tsunami tsunami 2013 i mid around may i left japan I worked for a small time in the Singapore office, then one month in the Bombay office, and then I was just freelancing over here, mostly like uh, catching up with IMS and some other exams of CFRs. I was not sure about where I was going to go, so that time what happened is uh, there was an interview call for 
in IMS uh, vacancy for assistant director. I took up that in 2015 October. So now I have completed now five years. This is sixth year. So here I am, guys. From journey from B mechanical to fifth engineer to chief engineer, taking superintendent, and now staff in IMS. Back to my alma mater, and uh, that is like uh, really helping me all along my way. I don't know how many more favors IMS is going to do for me. Though. That's my story, guys. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, nice Tanuj, very good. Yes, uh, nice Tanuj, very good. Uh, Himant, uh, would you be able to speak now, or are you still driving? Himant, yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Now you are looking Himant. Uh, yeah. I will take the short break. Actually, I am from one uh, meeting. I am going to my office. So actually, I parked car now. I can talk now. So, uh, very nice to see you all of you uh, after a long time, and happy to see you also. So, all uh, 25 are there, or how many we are there? 14. 25, including I am a staff. <laughs> okay, okay, yes sir, yes sir, you are there. <laughs> so, how is going on, sir? All is going perfect. No, with COVID, we are doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually just uh, one month back uh, I was uh, co- corona positive and was uh, quarantined for 15, 17 days. And now I recovered. Uh, maybe one month before I was there. And uh, now everything is good. My health is good. I hope all of you are must be doing good. All are doing well. Tell me, tell me after pa- passing out from IMS where you went. Sir, after passing out IMS, uh, I joined Shipping Corporation of India, and uh, very sweet boy and uh, my loving friend, uh, Mr. Tanuj Kumar. With Tanuj uh, Kumar, we joined Sampurna Swaraj SKS vessel, and there we spent around together uh, 13 months, sir. And uh, really enjoy both of us. And then after, uh, I went for uh, class four. And uh, did my uh, old class four. I went for sailing uh, again in shipping corporation. Did uh, n- new class four and new class two together. A- and uh, I sailed uh, one night as a third engineer <laughs> in my life. And uh, after that, I got immediately promoted as a second engineer. And then uh, second engineer I did around seven years. Sir. And uh, after that, uh, chief engineer. I was chief engineer for. Five years, four years, and then I joined uh, fleet management as a superintendent. Uh, there I was for one and a half year, and uh, then I shifted as a superintendent to uh, Dubai uh, in uh, Emirate Trading Agency. You must have heard about that company. ETA. Yes. So, but there I was only six months. Quit everything. Uh, Uh, just I'm getting a call, sir. Uh, actually, uh, I will decline this. Okay. So, hey, anybody knows that if some call comes, how we can you know avoid? <laughs> so, yeah. So afterwards, sir, I was uh, there Dubai uh, maybe six months only, and then I quit and uh, again joined uh, sailing. And there I did uh, two more shifts, but I was not uh, enjoying that life now. So in 2016, I quit uh, shipping and uh, started my own business. Uh, I am doing uh, interior and all uh, furniture thing. I have two three companies now, agencies, plywood agencies, and uh, now just uh, doing interior work for home offices. And houses, and now planning to start one new project, uh, prefabrication unit for uh, interior furniture. Uh, so work is going on with all your uh, best wishes and grace. Maybe in next four five months, I will be starting that. That is very yeah, sir. Life is good. Yeah. Two kids are there. One uh, daughter is uh, in eleventh, and son is fifth standard. Very good, very nice. 
very nice your story is very good you have diversified into something which we don't imagine we only buy some house and do the interior but he is now setting that up so uh, ऑरेंज फार्म ऑल्सो इन नागपुर सो आई हेव एटीन हंड्रेड ट्रीज ऑफ ऑरेंजेस नाउ सो लास्ट इयर फर्स्ट क्रॉप आई बट दिस सेकेंड क्रॉप विल बी दिस इयर Uh, that is the yellow full flesh crop. You are exporting to Goa? Uh, oranges, no sir. I actually uh, full uh, oranges going. My oranges are going to Delhi. And uh, if you wish, uh, next year I can. Like this season, October, November, I can send to Goa. If you wish, yeah. I can send you uh, full consignment. If you wish. Uh, if you are interested. Yeah, it's not a deal. I'm sending it to Tamil Nadu. Pardon, sir. We'll give you a bulk order. Bulk order. <laughs> sure, sure, sir. Sure, sure. I'll, I'll uh, surely, uh, um, we'll send. A uh, lot of uh, this thing is there. Uh, means uh, things uh, we have to do, and uh, then we can send. You know, as per your requirement. Because the side uh, size of oranges and uh, all these things, uh, lot of things are there. So we will discuss it. Sanu <laughs> uh, is there. So. Uh, it is always there, nothing like that. But uh, uh, missing always the uh, Goa team, sir. Actually, what happened in last year? Suraj, uh, miss. I was the only man who was started this and uh, to come in last uh, get together, but could not make it because my uncle uh, died that time. So he, so I could not make it. So now I am. I was thinking of this, but because of Corona, uh, maybe in few days we will meet. Good plan. We have uh, actually two alumni from uh, IMS who are now with us. One is Tanush Kumar and other is Heston Dias. Heston Dias is a uh, ah. GME. Yeah. So now he is a lecturer. Now he is on the screen. Okay. So Heston, okay. you can give your share small experience of your given. So myself, my name is Heston Dias. Uh, I had done my GME on 07 batch and passed out in 08. And I joined Anglo Eastern. I had sailed in Anglo Eastern back from junior to third year. First, I had done bulk carriers, and then I shifted to tankers. And at last, I sailed in chemical tankers. Then I got an opportunity in IMS to be a part of IMS. First, I started as an instructor, and recently, I've been promoted as a lecturer. Journey has been very good. You know, the guys who imparted me knowledge, and now I have joined that team and helping others. It's been a good journey for me. Good learning experience also in a different field. Yeah, thank you, Heston. Heston, next after our, uh, uh, we have a virtual reality lab there, which uh, he looks after that, and he is teaching students because we are not able to send them uh, on show ship now, so he is involved with that. Tambeter uh, sir can uh, give a small message he wants. I think there is one message of Mr. Your your director, Mr. Tambeger, he had logged in in between, but uh, yep, he, yeah, he could not uh, get in that time. So he says, I am pleased to know that the first batch of students are meeting today. My best wishes to all of them. Some have reached a high position in the industry. They should share their experiences with others, and I hope they have their own family and their own house with a car. And I wish them peace and prosperity and good day. So this is the message uh, the director has given to you. And um, Tamil sir, you can continue. Okay, it's time to. I don't know whether we should call it goodbye, but it's a good beginning actually. See what Corona has brought us to. We never thought we could meet on this type of platform. <laughs> and today we are so far yet so close and i could see the bonding between all of you and i'm really jealous because <laughs> when i did my training we are only four of us who had done be mechanical and i don't know where they are to be honest because that time there was no mobile whatever reason 
and I have done my training up to be mechanical in CDA workshop. So that is why I feel really proud about this first batch and the way you all have come for that 20th celebrations and the bonding I saw that is a very good sign. Nitin Desai, good way to communicate to each one. Kapil sitting in UK and for the other you is in Nagpur, you are in Bangalore, Suraj. Yes, sir. You are at your mid-tent nicely. <laughs> so today, even if Kapil couldn't come for the 20th year, today he was present. This is the big difference you have come to today because of Corona. So we at IMS always look at the positive sides. And this is what is the positive that the Corona has given us. And this is the first meet that we have started. And thank you all of you all for making it. I won't say taking your time out because for IMS there is nothing like time out. You say you have to be present, you have to be there. Isn't it? And for us, when we are not sailing, we are at home. So we can find time. So that is why uh, here Hemant is there. Hemant, have you gone to Tadova Anjanari? He's again driving, I think. <laughs> so anyway, these are the few moments which everyone looks forward. Hessel has taken a lot of trouble. I Hemant, you have to unmute yourself. Hemant, unmute yourself. Yes, huh? yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, so we will be taking a trip to Tadaba and to see... Yes, yeah, sure me. sir, sure. You, you, for Tadaba, you just give me a notice that I am coming. Uh, I will uh, surely book for you, uh, no problem. So we will go with the tiger to watch the tigers. <laughs> no, nothing, bad. nothing like that. But uh, sir, my luck is very bad because I, all the people from around come, see tigers. But whenever I go, I didn't get it. No, not a single time I see the tiger. But that is why, sir, what I said. Tiger, say, tiger, 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 all my good afternoon. Good afternoon, afternoon Shiv. I am actually in Muscat, sitting in a hotel, and the internet connectivity is very poor. So it is disconnecting in between. I don't know what is the problem. Uh, so my journey is like uh, uh, what other batch members have told. We sailed with uh, most of us, we sailed with SCI initially. Suraj and I, in fact, flew on the same day to Vizek. Bombay and then I shifted to MSI uh, shipping, IMC shipping which was, which was known earlier. And I was with them till I became chief engineer then sailed on a couple of uh, uh, DP vessels, I mean uh, offshore vessels and then joined Ocean Sparkle Limited. Uh, their regional office they have in Goa so I joined their regional office as technical manager. And that was in 2012. So since then I have been with them. And they have a office in Oman. So for the official work only they have sent me here. Uh, so that's it. And I think all along the journey, of course, IMS played a very important role in giving the, I mean, imparting the necessary training. But uh, Deepak sir also, his input at personal level also has been. Uh, what I can say is of uh, very, uh, uh, he has been in fact very supportive throughout because whenever we had any problem or any doubts and all while answering exams on what to do next, he has been there to guide us all along in his personal capacity. So we can't, I can't, I can't th thank him enough. So that's it. Yeah, Shivram, thanks. Uh, it was actually uh, sometimes when we remember the old days. Uh, initially, in 97, I was in Western India when uh, 
some people had joined and one after that i was at home for about a year and that's it. most of you all were appearing in the class 4 so like amit sarvesh all used to be there at home for having that class 4 part uh, b you know, preparatory course which you we were doing from ime so that's the time when uh, we were we used to have the morning tea and then we used to be even when when we were we were in western india shipyard uh, we used to go there as a uh, trainees and uh, you used to make us run around you used to make us <laughs> learn new things not to just spend time and go back to the classes and uh, <laughs> i think now you are managing the propeller and rudders much better we than we always used to <laughs> try to avoid you because you always used to make us <laughs> in fact that time we felt at that time it was it was yeah i mean done in a good faith i know that now now we have realized it <laughs> but deepak sir was allowed to escape but you could avoid deepak sir used to no no not at no, all no, we used to see him coming and then we used to take a detour we had the <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately we used to, we used to, we used to all wear that the international boat, orange correct uh, so it was very difficult to not be spotted <laughs> yeah I, i remember all mostly they used to be there near the propeller rudder maybe climb up on the uh, reading something i think that was the time when i could be giving them maximum of my experience so that <laughs> now it's like your turn like you have to help out the others possibly in the future so that's what, uh, we always expect our uh, past batches will help the future either for the placements or at least for guidance that's most important financially even uh, we are uh, we had uh, you know one of the students who expired uh, and a lot of support came up from the Uh, members of the IMS, in fact, nearly seven and a half lakhs of money has been given to the family, and they are now physically and financially stable. And I think they are very thankful to each one of the persons who had, uh, you know, without knowing that boy itself, uh, donations pouring in from right from one thousand to forty thousand. So it was uh, like the the team of IMS, which we can call now. We cannot call you ex students, but it's a team. नागपुर <laughs> And sometimes when you used to land up, you used to bring those orange barfi. That is the only thing famous in Nagpur. Orange barfi you can't get anywhere else. Mm-hmm. And probably yeah, orange yeah. and orange ice cream you will not get it anywhere else but in Nagpur. Now, of course, we cannot we cannot yeah, ask for ice cream. cream. We cannot ask for ice cream, but at least the barfi. So that <laughs> you see that uh, orange, orange barfi. So that will yeah, get that and we we'll give, we'll give it to those students in the hostel. We we'll try <laughs> something like that. Oh, oh. It is not for us, but also for the students. That is important. So why 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 not for us, sir? For us also. Also. Are you all most welcome? You all tell us the date when you are coming to my place, and we'll call him on him. He will come now and bring the orange one thing himself. Yeah, he has to bring, no? Sure, yes. sure, sir. Sure, sure. I'll I'll get uh, uh, Miss, uh, but uh, I don't know uh, that uh, Haldiram is a brand actually. Orange Barfi, uh, okay. rest a uh, lot of makers are there, but uh, Haldiram is the best. Okay. So that only on Nagpur we get it. It's yes. uh, the original one. Yes. So um, I will uh, next time whenever I will come to Goa, I will surely carry. I will not carry my bag. You have to arrange for my all uh, PS <laughs> personal. Uh, I will carry all that uh, orange for Peter. Surely, will go. You so give me numbers. How many students are there? I will pay okay. each and every student. Are fantastic. So you have to make sure that is done. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hundred percent. First of all, now actually, this is Corona. Hope and pray that this Corona should go away because yes, uh, this is hammering everything like our 
businesses and all everything everybody is get uh, troubled because of this so i think uh, we hope and pray for the now uh, our escape from this corona and all so take uh, you all take care please and uh, sir i am in a, a, a entering in the city in the traffic so i will take all of you leave from you all of you thank you what we have done we have actually created a new alumni group that is on facebook earlier we had it on yahoo groups but now yahoo groups no one is using so we have shifted it there and i will send a request for you all through the whatsapp for number and later probably i will put this extracts not uh extracts of our meeting on youtube and i will send you the link okay so that you can see okay, and sir. remember the link so pretty much everything except other other card number <laughs> 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 that aadhar card is only required for vaccination <laughs> <laughs> okay besides this with you okay sir yeah with with this great experience some of you all can send your near misses incidents or accidents to me if possible at ajay@imsgoa.org which i can you can make a ppt or just send your points which i can share with the students which i normally do in my last lecture so that they don't face the same incident or the situation it will help them to cross the barrier in a better way so if you could share that that is one part i would like you to do and finally i would like to wish all of you all all the best in your future you. ventures all of you all definitely made your mark in the marine and now we are trying to do something different and i would like to wish each and every one of you in whatever you are planning to do in the future and of course those who are in goa please visit okay thank you yes sir yeah thank you we should do this more often with more number of people Yeah, yes. the Google Meet, the Google Meet is be on for some time. Where you want to interact with each other, we are keeping it on, so you can interact if you want. Otherwise, anybody once you are free, you can log out. Then we will close up. Uh, interacting with more number of people would have been more difficult in a short time, and you know, too many people giving this thing, it would have taken a long time. So we are trying to do it batch by batch. and then maybe we will make it a bigger occasion where we can have two three batches together so you know people may be knowing each other okay thank you very much nitin thank you suraj kapil thank you sir thank you for having thank us you. and shivram of course thank you thank you very much nice meeting all of you